Chapter 3! Chapter 3! Let's jump into Chapter 3 of The Last Stop. <laughs> I don't know why I did it like that. Uh, let's go into Chapter 3. Imposter Syndrome for John Smith. Let's do this. Previously on Last Stop. Thank What's you. wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Yeah, fair enough. Let's see what you what we're doing, John. Paper Dolls, Chapter Three, Imposter Syndrome. John's flat, six thirty-five. Oh, what's the plan? Run me through it. Let's hear it. Run me through. So, it. what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. He's loving this, Jesus. Non-issue. Non-issue. I think the fact that I look exactly like you takes care of that. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30am. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. That's me done for. He's exaggerating. That sounds like an exaggeration. You don't know Amy. Jack loves Amy. We do not. Finished, moving on. Have you both finished? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no foam. 7.53, consume beverage. Flatten me, kill me, crush me. Now uh, let's say, flatten me, kill me, flatten me, kill me, say that you crushed me. 7.55, fall asleep on train track. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. That's okay, no, he's messing around. Well, I have to meet her at 7.30. So I don't want to be any earlier. So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Something wholesome, something endearing, something northern, something wholesome. Okay. So I just go up to her and say, All right, love. Pardon? Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about That's something it. she loves. We're out of cereal. Oh no, I'll pick some up after work. Cornflakes. My fault, sorry. I finished it off last night. I'll pick something up later, yeah? Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She can talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. Musicals, let's go with the players. So, that's Shakespeare. Oh, come on. He's a bit good, isn't he? John, what that was What was the awful. deal with that piss up the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Forget it, fat piss head. I mean, just saying he's a piss head. He's just having a rough day, that's all. Why do you think he looks like a piss head? So, are we going for this run or what? Yeah, that's... Thank you, man. I'm just meat and potatoes. Thinking man. Meat and potatoes. I always think of him as meat and potatoes. You know, no fuss. Some people say that's a rare quality. Keep up if you can. I can actually run. I feel great. Regular mo Wow. I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. Uh, pretty vain self of oh. I imagine I come across quite self-absorbed. Well, you're no role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. Yeah, fair enough. Man. Tell me more. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit chat. You give me a stitch. Just tell me. I need to know. Come on. Let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me, you're a total workaholic and a massive geek. Why is that a bad thing? Massive geek? Too bad. 
Yeah, I can live with that. All right, Jack. Well, that was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? Are you all right? Do I sound different? I feel great. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know what came over me. Call you tomorrow? Call you tomorrow? No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We better get our story straight for Shaz. That didn't go well. Shaz is great. <laughs> You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean story? Where are we related? I made something up. Our cover story. Well, um, to avoid suspicion yesterday, I had to make up a cover story on the spot, and I told her that we're related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> I like Molly. <laughs> Light of Shaz. Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious brother. All right, bruv. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hi, Shaz. Careful, Jack. Hello. Uh, sure. Hi, Shaz. Hi, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think I think John must have told me that. So now your family secrets out. I'm dying to know more. What was it like growing up with John as an older brother? Let's ham this up. It was a dream. Let's ham this up. Don't want to get all soppy, but John. I don't know where I'd be without you. It's quite all right, John. I'm glad you've turned into such an athletic, creative, fiercely intelligent young man. So how long was Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. He's staying. We'll see. He's kidding. Uh, let's say we'll see. Well, you can discuss it. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Couch potato here and there. Nothing interesting. Here Just and there. here and there. He was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping, noble stuff. Um, yeah, that's enough. Bring him back. Bring him back. Not that glamorous, really. Mainly just cleaning toilets and making coffee. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super rich. What was that? Tone it down, stop. Shocking, isn't it? Yeah, I almost can't believe it's true. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow paced for you while you slum it with us. Wait, I'm gonna head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. Why wouldn't you go with us? She's her? nice. Submarines. Too much. So, what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up <laughs> and things. It's awesome. You're weird, Molly. Creative. Pulling my leg jacket out's creative. And what does a creative do when he's at home? Sounds mm -hmm. made up. What do you mean? I'm a software artist. You know, video games. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free to play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting edge stuff. Oh boy, such bollocks. Okay, mate. <laughs> uh, okay, mate. If you say so. Yeah. Hey, 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 I played this game. We had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. The coloured bull one, the one on the island, the maze one. The one on the island? I remember playing this one back in the day that was set on this weird island. It had puzzles and stuff. You do that one, Jack? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No? No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good. So where oh, do you work? Super fat. It's not far from your office, actually. Sounds easy. Maybe this... No, 
this is a real job. To do this. Of course they do. Yeah. Some people say game makers are the new rock stars. Come on, John. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Bit of a letter. Yeah, maybe I can. in your game, Jack? Is that even possible? Let's just try to get through the first day to begin with, yeah? I'll walk you through it. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. Don't do what he says. Harsh, dippy. She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. Yeah, that was a weird thing to say, Jack. Sneak past Sonia. Surely she saw me. What, are you just gonna walk past her? You're gonna sneak behind her? Oh, this is redundant. Come on. How would she not have seen that? <laughs> Hello, stranger. You look well rested. Be nice. She's on to me. Be nice. Um, thanks. You do too. Thanks. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Oh. Who the hell was that? What? Jack. Why would you you're not still feeling Yeah, young? why would you say that, John? Boss. Let's just go. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm completely not with it this morning. I should probably get going. Oh, John. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Oh. Warm. Balmy. Great sunbathing weather. Make me you should see my turn. In Iceland. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's oh, Monday. Boy. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good to stuff like that. Gee, thanks. Gee, thanks. That's for the encouragement. Yeah. It's simple, trust me. Jonah's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapson's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rumble support. And this Video is a game. computer game. Video game. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. Make you cry. Jonah cakes, Letitia's shell shock, Tobias funerals, Maya rum rum. See, you're a natural. Natural what? Uh, hello. Um. Good weekends, everyone. Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay. Um, let's see. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. <laughs> you suck, John. Oh, I forgot what Jonah was doing. <laughs> cream cakes? You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. Letitia, retirement homes? You're doing something with AI? No, no, IA for retirement homes. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, Tobias. He's doing the funeral procession? Sure. I believe you're looking at a funeral procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, mm. Maya. He's doing the rumbling. You're rumbling? Rumbling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. 
I mean, I remembered what you were all working on, but I'm sure you already knew that anyway. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. Come on, baby. Don't tell me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Uh, John, that was a bit sad, that speech. Hello. Uh, yeah, speak English, try again, don't like her tone. Do you speak English? Sorry, I don't understand you. This is broke, Jack. Jesus Christ. Stupid. No, I think it's... No, it's not. Jesus Christ. Why are you getting so mad? Hello, child. And welcome to my tea shop. I am Mrs. Clapton, the ice cream guru. The, I, the cream tea guru. Would you like to purchase one of my freshly baked cakes? Today's special is ourselves with mint, Himalayan lemon cheesecake, bubblegum shortbread, served with whipped sour... Oh, I didn't get to read it. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot! Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Okay. You... John. Don't ruin this for Jack. Yeah. Can I play the game instead? Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? I have no idea. Say something good. Say something. Oh, yeah. Very poignant. Very poignant. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit. And then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> Grin and grin. <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Good, be positive, bad. Is that bad. bad? It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. Crunch doesn't happen. Any seven day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Thanks, but no, no thanks. thanks. I've got plans. Sorry. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. Ridiculous, you what? Oh, I'll set one. You what? You've lost the plot, mate. Why would I do all that extra work for free? Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together. To show some passion. Passion? I'll passion. show you what you can do with your passion. Oh, John. <laughs> Did she get Jack fired? Yeah. Hey, Dad. Oh. Hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah. Now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. Uh, idiot. What? She's kidding, right? Let's go with what? 
No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. OK, well, well, maybe I had to get a little bit fired. Told you. Well, it's all right, so did I. Between you and me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. Jack, I like you. We're screwed. This is a disaster. It's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I saw your pay slip. Here's the thing. Yeah, well, let's go with here's okay. the thing. Here's the thing. Uh uh Everything okay? Something go wrong? BRT, you were screwed. I've got something to tell you. Wait. What? You got fired as well? Pretty eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's it. I'm going to demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? You're not allowed to eat I want John. two slices. Hey, you got, that's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah, I love quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. John and Jack. What a budding romance that has developed. And Molly.